Timo Andres and I have some interesting connections going all the way back to our college careers. In fact, the first piece of his that we performed at Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony was an orchestral work that described the acoustic of the unusual concert hall where the Yale Symphony Orchestra gives its performances. So that was kind of a fun point of connection for us when we first started working together. And then later he came out to Iowa to perform his realization of one of Mozart's unfinished piano concertos. Such an interesting piece, hearing how uh, Timo envisioned himself, you know, a modern contemporary composer and pianist in the role of Mozart. Uh, I thought it was just fascinating and really compelling to work with him on that project. And in the years since, his career has really taken off. And I've followed a lot of what he's done. And when we had a chance to look at some of his music for this season, we settled on this piece, a paraphrase on themes of Brian Eno, which is, of course, based on the pop electronica music of uh, a stalwart of the field, Brian Eno. And Timo talks a little bit about how he became interested in Eno's music and decided to write a piece based upon it. And... You know, in looking at that and thinking about it, it just occurred to me that there was um, I don't know, kind of a synchronicity between what Timo sometimes does in his work with his textures, the way he handles ensembles and creates these um, really interesting instrumental colors and how he works with harmony and allows harmony to move in, uh, in ways that remind us sometimes of minimalism. Uh, all of that seemed seemed to really speak to the idea that his work would dovetail beautifully with Brian Eno's, and that's what happens in this fantastic chamber orchestra piece. So unlike Copeland and Mio, who are drawing on jazz, uh, Timo is, is looking more to the pop sphere. But if you think about where each of these composers was in history, for Copeland and Mio, jazz was kind of the popular style, and they were in more of the rarefied classical world. And I would say some of that is true of Timo as he approaches Brian Emo's music and brings it to the concert hall with this wonderful paraphrase. <laughs> 